Hi, Libra. Welcome in. This is your reading. This is for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, I just want to say to you that I was meditating a little bit just before I started this video, and uh, which I do with every reading. And for you, I really feel like I stepped into some kind of past life um, on a camel or a horse, you riding toward the setting sun um, and a big party. There was a party, like tents everywhere. This is in the Middle East somewhere in the desert riding up. And um, I look down at my shoes. I am Libra rising, so maybe I'm aligning with you in this one. And they were um, very much, you know, 18th century kind of shoes. So take that for whatever it is. We'll see if we can, we get anything around that. But it was a big party and there was lots of food and music and people having a good time. And like you were just arriving and there was just this rush, this feeling of, of um, celebration and love. And maybe you were at a wedding or maybe this was your wedding. <laughs> All right, let's see where we're going. At the end of March, we are going to have a, a full moon eclipse in your sign, five degrees of Libra. So, oh, and look at this. Wow. There's a sink. Past life. Past life. Remember I was talking about um, the Middle East, Egypt here. And okay. Wow. That's crazy. Crazy good growth. Well, we'll see how this plays out. That might be a, a separate message that um, there's something about a past life. I, I do feel like it was a wedding. Could have been your wedding or you could be attending this wedding in a past life. Growth. There it is. Full moon. I feel like you should meditate on that. The shoes were brown. They weren't wedding shoes. You could be at the wedding of a person that you maybe will marry in this life. Maybe you were always, every, every life you're separated by something. Full moon, safe travel. One more, please. Stormy. Okay. So that, that's just like a, <laughs> that's almost like a Viking ship on the seas. Remember what I said about, okay, so I'm tapping into past lives with Libra. And the full moon is going to bring uh, maybe dreams about these things or how you are connected with this, with a person. Um, I do feel like there is some kind of reconnection. We're talking about travel. And I was seeing, I was, uh, it was like I was you or I was seeing you on a camel or a horse going out to this oasis where there's a party, a wedding party. And there's something about that. There's also... Um, slow, a slow method of travel. Okay. That horse or that camel, you know, these boats going across the sea, a slow method of travel, very much enough from another century. All right. We're not talking about getting on a plane and going somewhere. There is some, some kind of growth that's coming through to you to follow this, follow this. All right, let's see. Nine of Cups, Knight of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Ace of Swords. Here's Archangel Michael coming through with some messages for you. Messages of love and new beginnings. Ace of Pentacles there and the Wheel of Fortune. So messages of love. I, I feel like this is another person coming toward you to speak their truth to tell you about their feelings of love. This person could be a past life person, right? Archangel Michael is um, engineering this whole deal. Nine of swords, eight of wands, lots of messages trying to come through. Nine of swords, eight of wands, four of swords. It's like both of you are in a healing mode I feel like you're not believing it. There's her. This is intuition. Moon. Okay. Moon 
and the, the strength card. Whatever messages are trying to come through, um, we have a new moon in Pisces, okay, which is opening up a spiritual portal. New moon in Pisces, opening up a spiritual portal between you and another person. I'm seeing Leo and Cancer, Pisces and Sagittarius. This is actually Pisces and Sagittarius because this is Jupiter. And Jupiter was the ruler of Pisces until Neptune was discovered. Three of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Judgment. I feel like something is coming through, messages or telepathy or some kind of opening to the universe, um, particularly about a person from a past life is coming through here. You're connected via past life. This is March energy, Three of Cups. There's the celebration, right? There's the celebration. Two of Pentacles. Fast or slow, right? We've got this Knight of Swords. So let's clarify here. I want to know what this truth is. What is this message that this person is rushing across or uh, um, showing up? Yeah, rushing across. Rushing across the desert, rushing across a distance. What is this message? Ten of Wands. Four of Cups, Ace of Cups. I know I've been holding back. I know I've been holding back. Star, healing energy. I know I've been holding back. I know I've been, I've had a lot of responsibilities or lots to do. I know I've been holding back. I know I haven't been talking to you, but there's a lot of healing going on with this person. The Star card and the Four of Swords. And I just feel like there's telepathy between the two of you. You're opening up this new moon in Pisces. Hold on. The new moon in Pisces. Let's see. Um, 20 degrees Pisces on March 10th. And then the full moon Libra, uh, the Libra full moon, five degrees Libra, the eclipse is the activation energy. So there's something about transcendence here and intuition. Um, we are in Pisces season until, you know, the 19th, 20th of March. And then there's more. There's more. So this is like, okay, there's something coming through in dreams. Dreams are going to be very important. If you want to learn to remember your dreams, you're going to need to program yourself. So before you go to sleep, before you go to sleep, um, that would be a great time to just do a little meditation, just do a little breathing and, and say to spirit, spirit, I'm, I'm going to remember my dream tonight. Please help me to do that. And then first thing when you wake up, keep a pencil and paper or your journal by your bed and write down whatever comes to mind. All right. You may not have, I'm getting this pretty loudly. You may not have pictures or like a regular dream. It's coming in words. So this could be opening up your clear audience. This could be um, something about that in the dream state. There's things coming up from the subconscious. There's energetic expression between the two of you. Um, I see Leo here. Leo, Cancer, like I said, Aquarius, Pisces, Sag. So why is this two of pentacles here? Because there's lots of, I feel like this person is moving towards you energetically, quickly, but physically, two of pentacles. King of wands. Oh, they need some Aries energy. And there's Leo too. Strength. They need courage and they need to take action. Got all the fire signs here now. Six of wands, five of cups, devil card, page of pentacles, three of swords and the hanged man. This person is uh, likely stuck in another connection or they feel stuck. They feel like they can't move, but they're closing down their creativity, their vision. That's what really needs to heal. They're closing down their vision or creativity. Feel free to swap around the energies if this is you. Um, closing down their creativity and saying to themselves, 
There's only two choices. And when we do that to ourselves, we are absolutely not um, uh, not in a place of exp of expansion, obviously. But what we're doing is we're we're getting ourselves stuck. There's a lot more to this than this person is allowing in. They have to learn some new things in order to open up to new horizons, new opportunities, new ways of getting out of a situation that they're in. When you feel stuck, you see things in black and white. Okay, that's very stuck energy because there's a whole technicolor range. There's a third way. There's a whole lot of options. And I feel like that might be trying to come up for them out of their subconscious, maybe in dream time, maybe in meditation. There's a lot of answers trying to come up for them because I feel like Archangel Michael's trying to speak to them. The message for you is that I have felt stuck. I'm sorry this is taking me, the time it's taking me, but I'm needing to heal this. What does it have to do with that past life thing? I mean, I know you, okay, no, be curious. What does this have to do with a past life thing? Two of wands, three of wands. Oh, isn't that interesting? Five of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. This person is being very cautious because when they set out to do what they want to do, this is, look at this energy, very much a conquering hero. Very, look at the past light. Look at that. The, the ships, the ships are kind of the same as this ship. Um, they're trying to determine whether it's going to cause too much kerfuffle one of my favorite words in the whole wide world, too much kerfuffle and upheaval to, it's almost like they're going like testing the waters. They're testing the waters with you. I said, interesting because this is the prayer and this is the receipt of the prayer. This is expectations. They want to know your expectations. This person is very tentative. They're thinking that this change may cause too much upheaval in their life. Hierophant. Yeah. Some commitment they've made is over. I've been seeing a lot of that. And 10 of cups, they know that they want to go toward their happiness. It's going to cost them. It's going to cost them. So they're being very careful, very careful. Uh, what else for you to know about this? Seven of wands, the world, they're not going to, they're not going to resist it much longer. King of cups. They're not going to resist it much longer because it's almost like the, maybe the telepathy opens up, maybe the, the, their power. I feel like um, when we get past Pisces, right in Pisces time, we have this spiritual connection. And then um, as we get into Aries time, I know this is a lot of Leo energy, but there is something about taking action, taking action based on their passion. And it's like they're surrendering to the journey. Okay, Libra, they're surrendering to the journey. So for you, let's use this for you. I feel like you're very much um, in a place of healing yourself. Open heart. This is your job. Open heart. Solar plexus chakra. This is about power, your own power. That's yellow energy. That's a lot of Leo here. Could be a Leo. Third eye chakra. That's opening. Your third eye could be opening. Beginnings. Beginnings. So this feels powerful to me. Um, I feel like we do have a solar... Let's see. Solar eclipse in April. Is that right? I think we do. Solar eclipse in April. Yeah. Aries. April 8th. So March, at the end of March, we have a lunar eclipse because this is Aries energy. This is activating their ability to take action. Right now we're in a very spiritual connection. 
and that has its purpose, okay? So for you, I see you as this high priestess, this moon, this strength card, all right? So you're the one that's really providing the passion right now. There's some kind of energy of passion going between the two of you. You may feel um, sexual energy. You may feel that. And uh, I'm going to say to you that, you know, April is going to be pretty off the hook here, but that that lunar eclipse at the end of March and the solar eclipse at the beginning of April, I feel like that, like within, that's a month from now. Okay. That's a month from now. Anything else on the timing? Come here, you. Anything else on the timing, please? And then something about Leo time. May. So May, remember I'm talking about, um, oh, all right. Jupiter moving into Gemini in May. That's a big, that's like a reconciliation energy for Gemini, which is the twins. So there can be reunion in May. This is psychic. And then there's passionate in Mars and Aries time in April. There, there's a lot going on in April that can be um, explosive. And then May seems to settle down a little bit. So I just want to say to you that this feels to me like we'll all come together completely by uh, Lionsgate. All right. So that's a lot of timing. I usually don't do that much timing, but it was all right there for me. So let's keep going with this reading. I'm going to look more into your uh, piece of this and what spirit is asking from you. Okay. Link is below. If you want to continue on with me, I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.